and welcome back everyone to Ostrieve. Our city in Ostrieve is looking very, very nice here as this is our first episode of a new city build in the game. The latest patch allows us to build chicken coops and I think I saw the hint of a large ship with sails. So we'll see exactly what happens to be waiting in the future for us. Everything is looking really nice here. We've uh, started here a few years in with a population of 27 and we're about ready here to start some farming and some bigger scale building of homes. If you guys want to see more Ostrieve, as I know you do, remember to hit that like button and share with a friend too, and let me know you'd like to see more. We've got a lot of basic buildings here. If you remember in our previous episodes, we built in a different uh, map altogether, and everything was going great until I basically ran out of food and everyone bailed. So this time, we're going to make sure that, that doesn't happen. We've already got two fisheries ready here, and I've done a lot of nice decorating already, and this is probably my favorite thing to do in the game, is to just set up fencing and make everything look all separated and nice. We've got a good hill over here where we're already cutting down a lot of the forestry there uh, at our forestry building, and we've already, as I mentioned, started a lot of building in this small neighborhood here. Three more houses to build here, plus a chicken coop and a few other things, including a farm that are going up right away, and also a trading post that we're going to have to get started. So we'll do that as soon as possible. Let's go ahead and immediately start laying out the rest of our city then. We're going to start with that trading post, I think, as it's one of the most important things in order to get uh, some of the uh, pieces and parts needed for the farming, and we'll probably build that somewhere over here where it's nice and flat and out of the way. So let's build that over by uh, the forest here and uh, I guess our construction workers will get on that as soon as they can. We'll make that a lower priority building, <clears throat> but let's go ahead and continue construction on this building here. And this is my favorite thing here already, the valley that goes all the way down uh, to, the, to the fishing uh, village area or the clay pit or whatnot really looks good as it comes out of the uh, main sector of the city. So things are going to be divided into uh, other parts. I think what we'll do is once this uh, forestry uh, area here is cleared, this entire forest is cleared by the forestry building, we'll put some more homes there as well. So much to do in this wonderful game. It feels more alive. And with a recent update, again, we can have chickens. So our chicken coop here will be ready to rock. And I think we'll need to import chickens from other towns with the trading post. So we'll get to that as soon as possible as well. We'll also think out areas for our future... Uh, uh, maybe Town Hall, somewhere over here too. Lots of great flat building area over here, so we can do a lot of uh, expansion to our town over there. We'll do some of our farming right over here, and I think we'll uh, build a maybe a giant farm somewhere here. Good good land to, to farming, and uh, some cattle, and uh, trading over here, uh, extending our town over there, and then maybe some more farming and fishing over on this side. We've also got a very large and very loud area over here. Yes going crazy with geese and chickens i don't i don't know what those sounds are bugs of some sort but it sounds like it's lively down there that's crazy all right let's continue our construction of our chicken coop now uh, it'd probably be a waste of time actually to build that right off the bat and uh, we're going to go ahead and continue to build the farm and village houses uh, we'll put the chicken coop last, as we don't have chickens at all. In the recent update, there's a few more things you can do in, in terms of assigning uh, different uh, people to different jobs. You can limit or increase or decrease the amount of people who work on a certain job. Uh, you can also, uh, I believe, adjust their wages more precisely. But if this is your first time seeing this game, man, is it beautiful. And I miss our old city, but this city is going to be even better with the lessons that I've learned from the previous build and uh, from the previous mistakes of the past and uh, troubleshooting of my own designs. So it gets even better. We'll go ahead and build three more uh, buildings over here, too. So this should bring us up to a total of uh, six buildings under construction for homes and then uh, also a few extra industrial buildings. Well, the trading post, not really an industrial building, and neither is the chicken coop or the farm, but they're all part of the industry as we can then eventually turn it into food production or sales. I see a guy coming down out of here. I don't like this. I'm going to go ahead and maybe make a... Uh, I'm actually going to make a, a fence here that comes out of the farm, and I would like to make it uh, maybe in a um, less hilly area. So maybe we can make it uh, somewhere more decent so it looks nice with a road. Um, <clears throat> in this game... One of the coolest things that happens is uh, people will walk around and they'll basically find any old way that they can get to go to a, a farm. They'll try to take the shortest route. So sometimes you want to corral them into taking certain routes so that way they take uh, the shortest path or the best path or a path in front of a building that you really want them to go in front of. So we'll go ahead and make a fence that goes down this direction. And uh, this will be to separate the uh, waterway production buildings from the farming areas. So if we need to build more industrial buildings, we'll do them down by the th thatchery. And that's where we're going to start for now. It's almost like building a train set uh, town, that kind of thing. All right, let's go ahead and go with something a little smaller here. 
arches sometimes are hard to get perfect, but nothing ever is perfect, which makes it look more realistic. So these paths, again, are not laid out by me. They are laid out by the people, and that is still one thing that blows me away in this game. I absolutely love that in Ostrev. Really looks cool. All right, let's speed up things a little bit, and uh, let's watch our city go and our city grow. There's a nice path, too, to get to the other uh, fishing hut over here, and we'll have to hire some more workers for that right away. We'll go ahead and hire a full staff on both uh, fishing sites, so that way we can get tons of food ready for the winter. It's already May, and uh, things have already started. We've got uh, 0 0.9 fish waiting at the market for sale, and an additional 6.6 .6 fish stored at the market, or at the dock for the market, so that way it can be sold without delay to the people who are hungry. We need more variety of food, so that's why we're starting with the chicken coop. And uh, you know what I'd like to see in this game, too, is a little gathering going on, a little hunting and a little gathering. I can't wait to see deer or bear or uh, any other type of wildlife, birds and such. And then also the ability to go into the woods to gather mushrooms and uh, other things that are easy to eat or that can be found, berries, that type of thing, other than just fishing. And also some more animations for fishing. But Austria is still very cool, and I wanted to bring it back because updates are coming out very quickly, and we'll be uh, adding a lot more stuff to the game soon. All right, chicken coop is looking good here. Uh, or no, the farm, but it's been stalled uh, due to the uh, inability to find wood. And since the winter, we were working on a few building projects. We're going to need wood again. So let's get the production of wood up. That's going to be top priority, I think, right now. We've got a lot of construction going on, so we need that as soon as possible. And the boatyard doesn't have anyone working, and the thatchery probably should have one person working there. We've got a total of 27 workers with two looking for jobs. Some of them need to be vacant, so that way they can uh, become... Uh, workers for construction. So we'll have a few uh, construction workers going and we see people returning immediately to start working on the forestry. Another thing is I got a new computer since Ostrev, since we played it last, and I'd love to go back and load that save over here and, and do that. So maybe we'll go back and check the old city. So what I need from you folks is what do you think we should name this new city. First of all, get this new city in this new series up to a thousand likes to show your support. And let me know you want to see more. And let's name this one. What do you guys think we should name it? It's got a little character to it already. I feel something valley, like Ridge Valley or something. There's a ridge here. There's a valley. We could call it Raptor is Cool, 420 Dankville. Whatever you think would be good, we can definitely name it. Oh, yes. There's plenty of names to go around. So give it your best shot, and I will try to pick the best one that best suits the city. So feel free to comment. All right, so now uh, workers who go to the farm should be forced to either walk all the way down here or they can walk through the neighborhood and take a right at this building here and walk through there. That's something that I have planned to uh, be another shortcut so that way the farm's nicely isolated from the rest of the community. We're getting more areas now to uh, build our buildings, uh, our homes more specifically, as soon as the uh, workers are chopping all these down. There you go. You see another uh, log going down, a couple of men carrying them back to the lumber mill. And then, of course, in this game, the animations are just nice to be able to see people actually carrying some of those objects back. It's very cool that way. And I love seeing buildings get built live. Once you, uh, If you haven't seen it before in this game, these two homes here will be built live by people who will bring, for example, here... Uh, this guy is bringing back, oh, that looks to be fish for the market, but uh, there will be carts that will bring over, uh, for example, in those boxes or nails, in those buckets is clay, and also wood will have to be brought over, so that way they can build the walls, and it looks like somebody's bringing over wood right now, uh, or, oh, no, that cart's just being brought back. All right, plenty more wood is needed. We've got plenty of firewood and uh, plenty of wood stored that will eventually go over to those homes, but we probably don't have construction workers for them now, as everybody's working for uh, the late spring. Uh, here comes somebody firewood to keep their homes warm. Even in May, it's still a little chilly out, so people are still in need of products such as firewood. I wonder if we can sell that at the market. Let's see if that's something we can sell here. Looks like it's food only. No actual goods. It's uh, going to be a food only resource. That's unfortunate. Hiring options, though. Oh, we can see that we can hire. We can choose to hire men and women, or just men or just women. And also the same with the labor when it comes to building it or de delivering resources. Speaking of delivering resources, here we go. Lumber finally being delivered, S timber beams there, very nice, and much more to come as uh, guys are bringing those back and forth. The next thing I want to do is build a, a cart uh, storage too, so that way we can get uh, carts delivered, but we got to get that population up. So these buildings over here, good to go, nice flat village over there, and look at all this territory we have to build, and there is absolutely no reason we shouldn't be able to reach the edge of the map with all the wood that we have at our disposal. It's going to be really nice to first build our town up top. And then I think what we'll do is probably build over here. 
we'll build a bridge over here and try to take this area out unless some other option becomes more viable. We can build around some of these smaller forests. They're not really worth our time uh, to build there, but that's a long distance to transport some of that lumber. And uh, these guys will probably have to carry it by hand to the actual lumber site, cut it into logs or lumber, timber, and then use it like that. All right, live construction. Apparently this old house with Bob Vila has started as we're now constructing the floor panels. Again, I love the animations here. Good stuff in this town. Yeah. And, of course, it will be winter soon. So the main thing is to prepare housing for all uh, homes and, uh, and, and visitors and residents before winter should be complete. And then, of course, to supply them with food, which is exactly what is happening at the fishery. Uh, fishing dock at both sides. And it looks like there's... Oh, wait. There's no boats. I thought we ordered boats. Okay. We've got boats going here. So let's go ahead and close all hiring positions there. We'll get some more boats built. And uh, we'll finish up with the uh, rest of that uh, fishing harvest. They got six fish there already, so that's good for another year. But eventually our people are going to go nuts with that. So we need to provide more than just that. We need to have fish and potato, beef, chicken. Uh, we need to provide flour for, uh, well, wheat for flour and then bread and all that other stuff. Walls going up on the homes. Again, it is still impressive to this day, even though I've seen it a million times to see these folks build homes. And of course, town halls, eventually churches, some other things being built by hand would be really amazing. Good. They're building the home. Literally, they're building houses that they live across the street from. They're building their neighbor's homes. That's really cool. Additionally, we can put down uh, some decorations so benches can be put down. And yeah, I love that. Love just doing some decoration in this game. So good. Big update. Can't wait to see uh, the... Uh, ships. There should be ships. I, I saw a screenshot of it, but one of the major things is just uh, stability and a few other uh, small things, including the chicken uh, coop. And that's, of course, available next to the windmill up there. A place for breeding chickens, meat, and eggs. Oh, wonderful. Uh, when you buy chickens from neighboring towns, it will be assigned to the chicken coop with more space. Make sure it's staffed and has a stack Oh, stock of wheat and water before the trader arrives. So before we even start with our chicken coop, we need to actually have the farm ready to go. So wheat is needed for the chickens in order to be turned into milk, or milk, <laughs> eggs. I was thinking of bread, milk, and eggs, you know, the three staples of any uh, grocery store. Um, but yes, we will need eggs. We will get eggs, and we will get uh, meat from that. So that's good. So we can at least make our morning omelet. All right, more supplies being delivered there. Time's going by pretty slow here, but... Things are going by quite nicely. We're just a few minutes in, and things are looking real good. We got uh, trees growing. I tried to make this look as picturesque as possible to make it interesting, and boy, does it look beautiful. And, uh, boy, it's nice to see uh, everybody kind of chilling out here. Let's put a bench at the end of this uh, road here for people to come and relax at the end of the street. There we go. Very nice. Oh, and look at that. A nice little couple holding hands on the bench. Very nice. Oh, wow, and three people just sitting here. It looks like they're waiting for a bus. Do you see, see the three... Uh, you hear the the joke about the uh, three Ostrovians waiting for the bus? Yeah, me neither. Apparently, Ostrov in uh, Ukrainian means island. Somebody told me once. So, uh, I guess what does what does island mean in your nation? What what country are you from? What language do you speak? And what does island mean in your nation? Of course, English island. Uh, Swedish o, I think, is the name of that o u o. I, I think I I don't know how to pronounce the o. It's the one with the two dots. Okay, homes going up. Nice. Can't wait for this to be done. So once uh, they're done here with the roof construction, the next the next thing for the home construction is thatch, which is literally dried uh, reeds from the river, uh, the shore, the river shore. And they'll have to be brought, wow, all that way. It's like a huge highway all the way up here to where we're building our next home. That's going to be a lot of work to get all those supplies up there. I feel like there's a lot of wasted space here. I, I wish we could use something here, but this valley doesn't really look like it's going to be used for much other than just kind of going across to the other flatter land. But it is nice to uh, kind of build around it, and it will look very beautiful. It would be cool if we could build a bridge. I wonder if we can build a bridge across. Let's see if we can do this. Wooden bridge. Oh, wow, we can. Wow, we can literally build a bridge up here. That's so cool. I thought it was just to get uh, across water. But we can actually build a bridge there. That's really unique. Oh, that would look wonderful. I wonder if we could build a road that comes down this way. And then build a bridge across. Though I don't want to build one that long. That would be too expensive. But something like that might do. Even shorter than that would look a little better. There we go. Okay, so we have the option to build some bridges and make it look really beautiful. Again, that one, that looks a little more realistic there for some of those larger uh, valleys. So a goal of mine is to definitely build a bridge somewhere outside of town. That's definitely some good, unique building that we can do here in the future. All right, stall is uh, uh, construction is stalled. 
and a few things. They can't find thatch anywhere, but we seem to have reed stored that needs to be turned into thatch, which seems to be taking a while because of the other construction processes going on. We need to get uh, thatch up right away, though, so we can get uh, another family moving in. There goes some more lumber for construction. All right, uh, I think we have too many men at the lumber mill now. Let's go ahead and reduce the amount of workers here, and we'll hopefully have them switch jobs over to the thatch building, the thatchery. Okay, so that should allow us to build some more roofs, which will then open these homes, which will allow more people to move in, which will then allow for us to have more construction workers and faster construction. Another home being built there. All right, let's see. What's the next thing we want to do? Definitely get that uh, population up. So while we wait for them, let's do some decoration. Cottonwood trees would look really nice along the edge here. Oh, got to hold the button, though. There we are. So in a few years, in a few hundred years, this is really going to look like a beautiful old manor of some sort. Or a beautiful town. Already looks gorgeous. There we go, a little privacy, a little wind protection from the valley for the homes there. Hopefully keep the draft out. Okay, that looks nice. And we even have some ash trees that go around the uh, outside of this manor, too. Or the uh, the large, well, I call it a manor, but you understand what I mean. The uh, higher ridge there, which looks really nice. Okay, homes are looking good. Thatch, we actually seem to have stored thatch there, but not being turned, reeds, but not being turned into thatch. Oh, yeah, we can hire women, too. Why can't we? Oh, that's not nice. Why can't I hire... Oh, now, oh, look at that. Interestingly enough, now we increase the rate, uh, the wage, and oh, look at how many people are interested in the thatchery business all of a sudden. Hmm. A little bit extra cash will go a long way. Well, this is stalling some of our buildings, so uh, let's make sure we've got all that thatch going ASAP. Looks like the farm was taking a lot of our thatch, so we've got some more people working there. Let's go ahead and increase the wage to 150%. That's about as high as I want to go, and that should be good. All right. We, wow, we even had somebody lo leave the forestry building. All right, not too, not too bad. Let's speed up time again now. And it looks like people are still trying to... Well, they were trying to walk through there. My new hope is that they walk up this way. Let's actually make a neat little fence up here. It's a very Bob ross -y, isn't it? Is that the fence I want? No, I want to go with that other fence. This fence? No, I actually do like that other fence. All right, there we go. We'll connect with the edges of this fence, and we'll try to build it all the way up there. Which apparently I can't do for some reason. Well, family is out of money. Oh, I hear that's a glitch in the game sometimes when it says somebody's out of money. Nobody should be out of money, though. Wages are rather high. Which family is out of money? Unemployed and... Wow, the father's working at the thatchery in this one. Uh, the mother unemployed. Oh, their wealth. Oh, no, they're, they have plenty of wealth. We're okay. All right, thatch is coming in like crazy, like it's going out of style. All right, the thatch business is good again. All right, let's go back to... Uh, Fence number three in this case. And we'll make a little thing that goes up to the top. There we are. Too small, it's saying. Hmm. There we go. I hear a family coming in now. I hear the trotting of a horse. And where exactly are these folks coming in from? Well, actually, that might be a family leaving. Oh, no, it's an empty wagon, so it's somebody arriving. Ah, yes, we're up to 31 people now in our town. Wonderful. More workers, which means more production, and hopefully then more food. We need more people working at the boatyard now. How are things at the thatchery? Oh, 10 thatch, good. All right, let's fire a few employees, or at least lay them off. They haven't done anything wrong, and hopefully they go to work at the boat yard now and it will increase wages there at, to 200 percent double their pay hopefully they get the boats done we need food as soon as possible that's going to be our most important thing here uh, we've got uh, 0.14 fish 3.1 we still need more fish coming in we got a lot more people to feed now and the farm has been complete one of the things that i had neglected previously the farm is now ready and I think it's a little too late to plant most crops, but we can get fields started. So we can at least uh, kind of get things going here as soon as we can. And there we go. This will be one of our fields. Maximum output, nine. 
And let's get another farm field going. I've noticed, by the way, having a lot of smaller fields is a lot better than having um, one big field. And the reason that is, is when the employees take a while to uh, complete the construction, or rather the, uh, the planting, you definitely want to make sure you've got a lot of uh, employees around to switch jobs. So if you got somebody at the same job the whole time, it's going to take them too long to plant. You'll see what I mean eventually. So now we're doing some basic farming here. Feels good. Feel good story of the century here to see some farming in Ostrieve. All right, so uh, wheat is going to be important here for our um, for our chickens. So let's go with some wheat, and let's change this one to potatoes as well. And although the sowing season is over, we'll have them set for the next um, next season. Uh, let's see. Now the crops that we have access to, I forget exactly. Uh, sunflowers and um, I forget exactly all the crops. Sunflowers and uh, I think furrow was one. Oh, follow. Sorry, follow hemp, uh, potato, sunflower, and wheat. So uh, we'll go with hemp then. And I think that's also also out of season. There you go. And that's a good one to sell for material uh, for ma uh, construction material purposes. All right, let's build our uh, little path going up to the farm here. And I like how this pathway here already kind of looks dug out from uh, the valley that's there. So we'll leave an extra wide road for the um, carts that might come through. Okay, perfect. And we'll leave it open on the right side <clears throat> for uh, other farm fields that might come around. There's kind of an open door there. I don't know. We can delete that, I think. Can we? Hmm. There we go. All right. We'll figure out what we want to do to decorate that a little bit later. Uh-oh. Somebody's taking a shortcut. Sir, you're supposed to use the main path. I guess that's okay. All right. Another home construction almost complete. Just need a little bit more uh, clay delivered and then the thatch also needing to be delivered. We got money coming in. We're making some good cash here. Thatch rolling out too. We got 13 thatch stored there between those two guys. Wow, look at that. We've got two f workers on fishing boats, but nobody's working on fishing boats. And that's a 200% wage, by the way. Right, let's fire another guy from there. I want to I want to hire more people at the boatyard. Hmm. We don't want anyone to the farm yet. There's no need to uh, have them in. Wow, it's like we don't... How many unemployed do we have? Seven people looking for jobs. Not enough food for sale. And uh, not enough... Ho no housing available. Well, we're trying to do our best with fishing. And there is uh, a shortage of fish. Looks like she may have just gotten back with some... We have a very severe problem with uh, people delivering fish. That's going to really irritate a lot of the people who live here. Oh, there we go. They just got a huge shipment. 3.1. There we go. Somebody just dropped off a ton of fish. Or wait. Oh, I'm sorry. That's the... Uh, oh, 0 0.1. Awaiting. Oh, we need some more markets. It seems like we can't get enough from one market. So let's set up some more. Families out of food. That's going to be a continuing problem until we have enough food varieties to be delivered. Uh, that's going to be under... Wait, where is that exactly? Where's the market? Is that under government? No. Market stall. Here we are. Right, let's put another market stall around here. Good. Another hired employee with fish. And uh, as soon as our trading post is up as well, we can buy all the food that we need. Just uh, fishing isn't going to cut it. Unfortunately, the problem doesn't seem to be the fishing. The problem seems to be the delivery from the uh, fish yard or the, fi the fishing docks all the way up to the, um, all the, way up to, the uh, to the market. 
So we've got some good progress going on here. This neighborhood's almost done. The farm is up and running, aside from it just being turned on. We also need to have a plow. A plow can help, but we need to have some other stuff going before we do that. Families are out of food, and that's not going to make them happy. Good firework. Firework. F firewood. Fireworks here. All right, let's see here. Okay, two market stalls are going. Oh, we're hiring for a laborer. Ah, oh, there we are, the laborer's uh, payment. And I think that's a person to transport it back and forth. And we have a shortage of carts. So we need to have somebody to build carts now. And I forget exactly who that is. We need to have more transportation in this city to get things done. Um, and I think that's under the carpentry one. Build carts, wagons, and plows and simple furniture at the carpenter. So let's go ahead and build him too. And we'll put him down uh, maybe over here. Oh, that's actually a... Oh, that's like a perfect spot. It's meant to be. Look at that. The, the setup there. Wow. That's really amazing. A good, perfect fit for the carpenter. Let's just nudge it in here just a little bit. Perfect. All right, the carpenter will then allow for um, carts to be built, which will then increase the f amount of food delivery. Should be good. Families are really getting out of food quick. It's a shame. There's all this fish sitting at the... Uh, at the fishing dock, but nobody's around to, to get any of it. Right, let's get rid of that. We need more boats for the future, so we're hiring there. Fishing is ultra important. Too much emphasis being put on... Uh, now let's go ahead and get rid of these guys from the uh, forestry building. Now there's all these uh, unemployed, but nobody actually doing anything. Three uh, people looking for jobs. Not enough food for sale, though. So we'll make this a higher priority. Looking for laborers. We now have some employees there to build that. And we'll put all of the rest of the homes on uh, hold here. Ah, I see everyone went to go work on the farm or on to the houses near the farm. That's what it is. That neighborhood's going to look real nice next to the farm. Chicken coop is on pause as well as the other remaining homes. There we go. All right, that should do it for us. And that should bring in, uh, I mean, we want to increase our trading post and uh, start importing all the stuff that we need. All right, well, hopefully that increases our jobs there. Fish 3.1 there. 0 0.1 with fish. I think we just need more market stalls in order to keep everyone happy. That way there's a constant supply of food. Uh, let's go ahead and build one more just to keep everyone happy. I always forget where this is. It's under production. Such a tiny thing to find. There it is. And we'll have a little sales point right at the entrance to town. There we are. Employee with fish. Perfect. All right, that should do. That should get us all the fish in the world. 1.9 fish remaining. With workers uh, reserved, we have 3.1 fish there as well. All right, one fish waiting, one fish. Oh, waiting one fish, I see. There comes those fish. Excellent. All right, food supply should be secure for now. And they are selling. There's the fish. Not much, but at least there's something for them to eat. And this should allow everyone now to start on the trading post, which is here which will then allow us to uh, start dumping a lot of our money into immediate food surplus, bolstering our economy, or at least our population, and then allowing us to kickstart our farm for the next spring. All right, everyone, that is it for my time here today in Austria. We will see ourselves a winter next time, and we will see a bunch of uh, hopefully money flowing out of the city to bring in food. We'll do a bunch of rapid construction, and then next spring have ourselves a farm, which hopefully we can sell back a lot of food to other towns and make that money back tenfold. That's it for today. I will see you all very soon for some more Austrieve. If you want to see more, again, remember to hit that like button. Welcome aboard to everybody who subscribed. This game you guys seem to really love. So thank you very much for tuning in. I like it too, and I'm glad to be building in a whole new world, a fantastic, beautiful, wonderful place. I'll see you all very soon. Goodbye.